Hello YouTube, this is the reviewer and today I'm here with the Cyanogen mod for Galaxy Ace. Okay, this is specific this specific model is the Ice Cream Sunday which is developed by Jethusta which he took out a couple of days ago because he thought it was too buggy but um, my opinion is great. So let's, let's get started. This is the ice cream sandwich and uh, not really with uh, uh, ice cream sundae but I have modded it, I have not modded, I have installed softwares on top of it. Now I'm running Go Launcher EX which I believe is the best home screen replacement for these phones. So I also have the ice cream sandwich theme from the sandwich and mod community from the market you can download it uh, for free so I have also gotten that and generally Cyanogen mod is a custom ROM which supports theme, equalizer and uh, all such goodies so it's way better than, it's way better than the stock uh, ROM or any in my opinion it's better than any other ROM in uh, right now for the Galaxy Ace and uh, this is an unofficial version of course there is no official cyanogen mod for galaxy ace and uh, this is what it looks like with blinked out with it, it all blinked out so let's get into settings and uh, you can see wireless network call setting there is cyanogen mod settings which is the coolest part uh, you have such customizable is very customizable so first of all it's got applications which shows where all we can install to SD or to internal memory or let the application choose so I have enabled application moving you can move any application that is previously unmovable application to your SD card so that's quite nice and uh, permission management your phone goggles etc you know about that stuff okay so then we have displays it's basic you have screen on screen off animation uh, let me show that and you have uh, accelerator rotation degrees you can even turn on 180 degrees which is quite cool I haven't done it yet so but it's really cool uh, this is the animation you see that uh, that uh, TV screen like animation that's cool so that's one cool feature about Cyanogen mode then you have input behavior which shows all what you want to do and uh, what all Cyanogen is able to do long press home setting number of recent application etc so you can assign anything to your hardware buttons that's that then there's input interface lock screen which is great you have really great number of lock screens because if you have used Samsung Galaxy A's there's only one and uh, the other lock screens such as Go Locker or uh, Ultimate uh, Magic Lock Screen etc they're good but they're not as smooth as we would like to it, we would like it to be right now uh, the last screen on the Cyanogen mod is great, it's cool. It's got a few options like style options like uh, uh, r sliding tab, rotary, rotary revamped, etc. This, the, anim the effect you're seeing here is bounce and glow, which is like it bounces and also glows. It's great, it's a cool feature okay so this middle ring style one ring in the middle to unlock so there's a lot of style there's a lot of customization which you must must look into it and give it a, two, a day or two to give get all your settings right so that's Cyanogen mod that's the specialty of Cyanogen mod and it also comes with a inbuilt app to SD so you can change your you can move your apps from your internal memory to your SD card 
and in my case, in the case of Samsung Galaxy S, it has a very, very poor internal space. It's only 170. I think it's 175. Let's, let's see. Um, it has about 170 something internal memory, which 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 finishes very fast, really fast. So it's not very good. I think it's. Uh, uh, 147 plus 31. How much would it be? I don't know how to make, how to keep up the math. But it still doesn't yeah, int uh, move all files like the data files. You know, it doesn't move like that. So, but it's still okay. It can move all the files. So, but mind you, you can't move widgets and hope they will be still working on your home screen. They won't work. That's basic knowledge if you are an, if you are planning to use a ROM. So that's about that. Okay, let's see about phone. It's uh, two point three point seven with ice cream Sunday final by Jasuda. You can go to his Tumblr page. He's working on a new ROM that is Carbon Sunday. I believe I have used it. Uh, not fully used uh, yet. I will be switching back and using it more and uh, giving you another review of, of that. So stay tuned. And uh, for this, one important piece of information f to for this to work, you need to have a Android uh, Gingerbread base and Clockwork Mode 5 5.xxx. So you need to have that. And uh, the main thing is. It's a great app. It's lightning fast. It doesn't have the slowdown that the 7.1 had. Okay, uh, this is based on the Ice Cream Sunday final. is based on Cyanogen Mod 7.2 by uh, 7.2 Kang. I don't know what Kang stands for, but it says so while you're installing it. So it be, it is uh, based on the Cyanogen Mod 7.2. I hope there will be a uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 coming for Samsung hopes high I don't really know how it's gonna be but still would like to have it if any if you got any more suggestions or uh, any more questions or uh, want any help from me about installing it or running it you can ask me any ask me about it on the comments below and uh, let me tell you this had one bug like you couldn't get the GPS working but there is a patch available now I'll be giving the link down below so you can use that to patch your ice cream Sunday mod with uh, that patch and you can get GPS again I now use GPS and it works fine so for those who want any help again just comment down below be sure to like that video and favorite it and also subscribe it helps a lot so Goodbye, we'll see you again.